A Boone County Fire District's first ambulance gets its first call this week, just months after voters gave the thumbs up to the purchase. 23 News reporter Connor Hollingsworth talks with members of the Boone County Fire Protection District Number 2 about this initial run and what benefits they will see from the service. Just two minutes into my interview with District Chief Brian Kuntz, the Boone County Fire Protection District's new ambulance went into action. So now our ambulance was uh, the returning from a call uh, from the hospital and as you can hear now they're responding to another call. Kuntz estimates the district will respond to more than 1200 calls each year and not only will the ambulance staff handle medical emergencies they will respond to fires if needed. If we don't have any patients or we need to do search and rescue they will flip that role. Here are some of the things the vehicle will be equipped with. If someone's having a cardiac emergency or not breathing or whatnot, uh, we have uh, ALS medications. We got the cardiac monitors, we got the, the cop, we got our jump bags. That's got also the medications in there as well. It seems like we go to a lot of uh, a lot of wrecks out here, so we have. Uh, basically a jump bag gear just for uh, uh, for trauma injuries. Seconds matter in, in, in a crisis and an emergency. Charmaine Larson lives in Boone County and her son Colton was a member of the Fire Protection District up until his death in 2020. Larson says not only does she see the Protection District as family, she also believes that with this service, they will be able to provide top-notch care. He loved helping people and I think that's what this department is is you know this is a, this takes a special individual to be able to do this job and they all they all have that working for you in Boone County Connor Hollingsworth 23 news the protection district covers around 144 square miles which is why Koontz is working to secure a second ambulance